a, a absolute unit of cheese we got going on. It's like 15 cups of Parmesan. A lot of onions to get through, a lot of tears to cry. Woo! Take a breather. Not really sure why I'm doing this, but it helps. Hi, my name is Alvin, I am a tasty producer, and I love making giant food for other people. For the past two years, I've been playing video games with a couple of friends from work, and this one guy, Jake, he is always eating. Like, before we play, while we play, after we play, all the time. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to make him something giant for him to snack on, because this guy eats a lot. Let's go meet Jake and see what he wants to eat today. What's up, dude? Hey, nice How's to see it you, going? man. Thanks for having me yeah, here. Yeah, of course. What have you been up to? Uh, you know, just the same old working, yeah. working hard. So I've told people that we play games online a lot. Yes. And yeah, also, yeah. that you are always eating. I just always like to have food with me. Is that why you're like always better than me? You're always <laughs> eating. I think there's a correlation Oh, yeah. There. I also do want to make you a giant food. So is there anything in particular that you think would be fun to just snack on? I mean, I love I love fried foods. Okay. My, my, my main finger food is uh, like mozzarella sticks. Oh, okay. How about I one up you? What if I made you both mozzarella sticks, but onion rings? I feel like Dude, they go together. Like onion rings actually were my gateway into <laughs> onions. Because I didn't what? like onions before, and then onion rings, I was like, this is not bad. I can, I can get into it. Gotta go make these giant mozzarella sticks and giant onion rings, and hopefully then I can beat you as well, because maybe you'll be too preoccupied. Yeah, that's a two-hander. You can feel free to hang out here. I'm gonna get to it and see if I can make that happen. All right, sounds All right, good, right thanks, All dude. Right, appreciate cool. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck. Okay. So, today we're gonna be making giant onion rings. You also might have seen them on some other YouTube channels, so it's not exactly the newest concept, but we're gonna try to make our own version. So, my technique is basically, instead of making one like giant onion ring, is to shape onions into a ring instead and not have to deal with finding a ring that's like this big. So, I'm just gonna kinda throw a couple of these in here. This is a lot of onions. Oh, I can smell it already. Ooh. Oh yeah, we're gonna need some tissues up in here. I'm going to actually sprinkle some salt in it because I want to draw out as much water as I can because I don't want the onion ring to be really wet. That's delicious. As you can see, we have a bit of a onion puree going on. We're actually just gonna dump it into a bowl with cheesecloth. And we're gonna do this a couple more times. All right. That's looking pretty good. All right, round two's done. This is the onion puree mixture that we have. I don't think I can put the rest of this in there yet, so I'm actually just gonna take this out and squeeze it to get all the ju Oh, jeez, I'm really <laughs> getting it everywhere. <laughs> all right, Alvin, you can do this blindfolded. Spilling like a overfilled diaper right now. Yeah, so a lot of tears right now. I think the last time I cried this much, I watched the Avengers and Game of Thrones in the same night. That was pretty intense. Oh my god. Okay, actually, I think this is making me cry a little more. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna say that's good for round number one. Woo! Take a breather. I'm fanning my own eyes. I'm gonna power through it, you know. No one ever said this was gonna be easy. You know, sometimes it doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Fingers crossed this doesn't take me out, but we'll see. It's actually getting kind of intense. I'm gonna go grab a fan. <laughs> and then try to wash my hands and see if I can get rid of this. Oh, okay, that's nice. We're gonna keep going, and thank you. Appreciate it, you're a real fan. Oh, that's so much better now. I should've did that from the beginning. Woo! Can't get over the amount of liquid coming out, though. That's just wild. So let's see what we got. Ah, yes, a nice ball of <laughs> squeezed out onions. Woo, okay, I had to take a little nap in the back. Eyes were killing me. Our fan is still on, but we're gonna add some binders in here to make this into a ring. So I have some cornstarch and I have some egg white. Just gonna keep mixing until all the moisture absorbs. Let's start with this smudge. It's actually really nice and soft to play with. Gotta make a hole in the middle. There we go. Get <laughs> into a ring kind of shape. Hopefully it holds together in the freezer. Shaping it, it's coming together. I think that's a pretty good looking onion ring we got going on. Okay, I'm gonna make one more. I have high hopes for this one. The strategy is to get this into a nice circle and then make the hole in the middle. You gotta be good with the fingers here because you gotta shape it into a nice hole, like a donut. I say that these are two pretty nice looking onion rings. We got some more of this onion batter. I'm gonna take these into the freezer and then we're gonna get some stuff ready 
and probably go work on some mozzarella sticks. So here we go. Onion rings are in the freezer. In the meantime, we're gonna make giant mozzarella sticks. We got like six pound blocks. Oh my God, <laughs> this is so hard. Gonna bisect this in entire log we got here. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. All right, next cut. These down. Oh, there you go. Who knew it was so hard to cut the cheese? That's some uh, big sticks we got. I'm just gonna cut these all up first. There we go. Okay, we got four blocks. We gotta turn these into some sticks. We could, you know, just batter it and fry this one. I honestly don't think that's big enough. So I'm gonna try to get these two to go back to back. I think this might be easier if I break this in half. All right, there you go. Okay, then we gotta get another one to cross over. These are skewered together. We're gonna put them in the freezer to set up. And you know, I'm gonna hang out in the back. I'm probably gonna eat half of this, turn the rest of this into more mozzarella sticks, so. I'll be back. We have to make the breading. That's like a landslide over here. They call this the big summit of panko, as well as an avalanche and a rainstorm of grated Parmesan cheese. But this mozzarella stick, it's gonna taste pretty damn good, I'll tell you that. And you know, just some salts, cause we gotta still season your stuff. And then dried parsley flakes for color and for a little bit of flavor. So it's gonna get in here. Whisk all this together. Ooh, that turned into like a landscape. I'm gonna say at least probably 10 loaves of bread were used to make these breadcrumbs. Pretty much there. Now we gotta whisk our 32 eggs. Pop the yolks first. Look at this beautiful color we got going on. All right, so I'm gonna go grab those mozzarella sticks. And we're gonna probably make a huge mess of trying to bread them, but we're gonna do it for Jake. Let's go make it happen. Okay, well, we have four skewered together giant mozzarella sticks. I think it's time to bread them. This is 100% going to get very messy, so <laughs> put on some gloves. Here we go. Go in here, just gonna coat them in the egg. Alrighty, then just gonna throw these on here. And do that. But this is the biggest thing I think I have ever breaded here <laughs> at Tasty. And then back of the eggs to get coated. Flip it around, back in the breadcrumbs. Oh, here we go. Okay, it's getting, it's getting a little coat. I'm into it. Okay, this guy is pretty much ready. That was one. <laughs> We're gonna do a couple more. All right, here we go, number two. Whew, this is pretty nerve wracking, guys. <laughs> yeah, these are uh, four giant mozzarella sticks. We got some extra breading. I might go make some more because, you know, I think it's always fun to have more cheese. I'm gonna take these to the freezer. I'll see you guys later, okay? <laughs> oh my God, this is so heavy. <gasps> oh God, this is like the pancakes. Cool, onion ring batter. So, got a big bowl of flour here. Then we're just gonna add in our seasoning. So, got some uh, cool seasoning salt and regular salt, some pepper, and whisking it together. Get a nice color in there. All right, that's in. And then we're gonna go with some oil, a lot of eggs. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. And then just a lot of milk. Cool. I like living life on the edge. Bring it around town. <laughs> the momentum from the hips helps the batter not drip. I'm gonna take this to the back. I'm gonna get some help because I'm pretty much exhausted and I'm gonna go to bed. Good night, guys. As you can see, this is a very large pot with a lot of hot oil. Please do not try this at home. I'm very excited to see how this all turns out and let's get to it. Okay, let's go over here. One on. This is the mozzarella stick. We're going in, folks. Slow. Woo! There it goes. We are frying at around 390, 400 degrees. This is gonna fry for about, I'm gonna say like two to three minutes. It doesn't take a long time. So we'll give it a look-see. Ooh, that's looking real good. That fried really quick. All right, well, we might be able to take this guy out. All right, let's get in here with one of these. We got this guy. All right, this is our mozzarella stick. It's pretty dark golden brown. Now we're coming out. Woo, that's a mozzarella stick. <laughs> Okay, we uh, made two more mozzarella sticks, so now we have four, and now we're gonna move on to 
onion rings. So this is gonna go into the cornstarch, kind of absorb any excess moisture from the onions. I'm gonna ask for some help. Ryan, can you give me a hand here? This is Ryan. He's on our culinary team. He's amazing, and he is the reason why this video is going to work. If you wanna hold the bowl right next to the oil, this will be a two-man effort. So go in. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Okay, thanks for holding, Ryan. Mm -hmm. So, let's see if we can get this under here. We gotta drip off any of the excess we got in the back. Here goes nothing, guys. Woo, all right. Well, that's what you can do with the power of teamwork. Thank you, Ryan. This is at around 350 or so, 370-ish, because the onions inside are raw, so we need to cook them through, just like an onion ring. So this is gonna fry, I'm gonna say like 10, 15 minutes until it's golden brown and crispy, and I'm gonna check back on it. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. The color is really nice. I think that looks like an onion ring coming out. All right, we got probably two more to go, because you can't have a complete set without four rings and four sticks. So I got a lot more batter to go through. See you guys in a bit. We did it. We fried a lot of stuff. We got four onion rings, we got four mozzarella sticks, but I think it's time to really assemble these, just like Captain America says. We got some really cool containers for the onion rings. This guy goes first. All right, hanging out. This guy coming over here. And then we're gonna get my boy onion ring number three. And then final guy, those are the four uh, onion rings. Let's go plate the mozzarella sticks. Woo! All right, that's one. All right, two, three. All right, this one goes in the back. To finish it off, to make it look really delicious, you know, why not? There's some make it rain Parmesan on top. And then, I'm gonna make it rain parsley too. Yeah. <laughs> this is pretty awesome, guys. Mozzarella sticks are finished. They are plated. There we have it. We have giant mozzarella sticks, giant onion rings, regular marinara sauce, just a lot of it. I think Jake's super hungry. Say no more. Let's go eat. <laughs> hey, Jake. What's up, dude? Uh, you ready for your food? Yeah, man. Let's right. see it. All right, close your eyes, though. All right. I'm gonna bring them in one by one. Honestly, my mouth is already salivating a bit. Food is in front of you. Okay. I hope you're hungry. I think you might be very happy with the results, so on the count of three, I want you to open your eyes, all right? <laughs> all right. One, two, three. Open your eyes, dude. Holy <laughs> Oh my god, that is huge! Yeah, pretty good, right? Is this enough for you to eat on while we play games? I think so. <laughs> I'll crush at least a few of these. Uh, <laughs> I hope so. You oh, seem to be eating a lot, dude. Yes. Yeah, we have some giant mozzarella sticks, got some giant onion rings, and we oh, have some homemade marinara. Homemade? Oh my god, you you gotta really do treat it. me you gotta right, do it man. For you, right? Wow. Yeah. The best part about a mozzarella stick is, you know, when you pull it and you get that great cheese. The bowl. cheese pull. If you want one, two, three, give it a nice pull slowly. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is some good mozzarella. This is some Oh my <laughs> god, it keeps going. It keeps going. Oh, 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 oh okay, we're gonna. Oh my god, yes. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, here we go. All right. Well, we gotta dip first. Can yeah. I dip? Yeah, of course you can right. dip. I dip, you dip, we all dip. dip. I don't know right, what that right. song goes, but that's what it is. All right. All right, cheers, dude. Cheers, man. Have a good one. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. How is it? Dude, this is unreal. This it's, tastes so good. It's good, right? This is like a mantra stick sandwich. This is like the yeah. best thing ever. <laughs> this is like an innovative dish. You want to try one of these onion rings too? I'm going to try an onion ring. There you go. Ooh, yeah. Oh, whoa. All oh, right. Yeah. Look there you that. go. Oh, hey, what's up? How's it going? <laughs> How you doing? I'm just going to dual dip. <laughs> Mmm. The hot. <laughs> Sorry, we just made it. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Some good onion in there. How do you feel? You feel good? <laughs> Heaven, dude. All oh right. my god. Well, I'm happy I could make this for you. I know you guys are, might be playing some games later. You know, if you want to bring this to the guys. It's a oh. lot of food. Oh, hell yeah. Well, I'll help you bring this over, all right? All right, sweet man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Oh. Woo! It's been a tough day today. You know, we, uh, 
We cried a lot, I sweated a lot, but I would say it was pretty successful. Jake was happy, I was very impressed with just how far the mozzarella pull got. I think that was probably one of my favorite giant foods so far. And you know, this is the second to last episode of this season of Making It Big. If you guys wanna take a guess at something cool that I have prepared for you guys next week, feel free, leave it in the comments, send me a message. It's gonna be kinda of crazy and I think you'll know the person that I'm making it for. But until next time, peace.